Welcome to my talk on cross virtuality visualization, interaction and collaboration. My name is Andreas Riegler and I'm a researcher at the University of Applied Sciences, Upper Austria. An important step towards more transparent big data analysis methods and a greater general acceptance is found in interactive visualization of data, especially in the context of augmented and virtual reality. Instead of interpreting numerical or symbolic outputs, Interactive visualization allows the use of human input for visual information processing and pattern recognition in order to discover and understand trends, patterns and correlations in large amounts of data. Interactive visualization can be thought of as an assistance system to enhance human cognition, which greatly relieves the cognitive load during data analysis and modeling and makes knowledge generation and decision support possible. Due to the abundance of data available today and modern methods of data science, data mining and machine learning, the traditional visualization of information has developed into visual analytics. In our research project called XPro or CrossPro, we investigate novel user-centric methods and techniques for cross-virtuality analytics, which aims to enable a seamless integration and transition between conventional 2D visualization, augmented reality and virtual reality in order to provide users with optimal visual and algorithmic support dep depending on their current tasks and needs in the analysis process. We thus focus on methods and techniques mainly for production data, which promise a new quality of visual analytics along the reality-virtuality continuum in order to facilitate a completely different level of visual and spatial perception as compared to the state of the art. Aside the perception and development of novel visualization techniques, we also concentrate on the close collaboration and interaction of users within this continuum. We believe that cross-virtuality analytics has the potential to fundamentally improve data-driven planning, control, optimization and quality assurance. We define cross-virtuality analytics as new possibilities for interactive visual data preparation, modeling and analysis based on fluent transitions between novel visualization and interaction techniques across the entire spectrum of the reality-virtuality continuum. The focus on virtuality instead of reality, in our definition of this term, is based on the premise that early phases of the data analytics process are best supported with technologies leaning to the virtuality side of the reality-virtuality continuum. Nonetheless, smooth transitions towards the reality side of the continuum can play a critical role to integrate data analytics into real-world spatial settings and social environments such as physical movement in a familiar work environment or face-to-face -face collaboration with co-located team members. In order for immersive analytics to be used to its full extent, traditional 2D desktop environments and virtual environments must be seamlessly combined and integrated. Technologies and media used in the field of immersive analytics on the reality-virtuality continuum offer individual advantages and disadvantages. 2D visualization on touchscreens allow for familiar visual representations, directness of touch interaction through haptic feedback, very high readability and very high resolution. Furthermore, 2D visualizations provide the opportunity of natural collaboration, especially on tables, walls or multiple tablets for collaborative visualization using tangible interfaces. However, 2D visualizations lack stereoscopic representation which leads to a low level of immersion. Augmented reality allows for the retention of the natural environment, stereoscopic presentation, natural spatial navigation via body movement, spatial organization of content in the physical environment, object reference data representation and integration or representation of remote users. However, AR still provides a limited field of view and poor contrast. Virtual reality allows for stereoscopic presentation, natural spatial navigation via body movement and head tracking, spatial organization of content in any size of virtual environment, significantly larger field of view and integration or representation of remote users. 
However, users are visually and socially isolated from the real environment and interaction with content does not occur via familiar touch interaction including haptic feedback. The possibility of targeted movement within the RV continuum creates a unique new tool for the exploration and analysis of data. For example, at the beginning of the analysis process, a collaborative visualization of data in 2D for all team members on a non-stereoscopic interactive wall with touch input and pen input is possible. Head-mounted displays can also be used to freely place stereoscopic 3D representations of the data outside the wall display in the room, for example to enable collaborative analysis of additional dimensions by some team members by means of physical navigation with their own body. Using AR, the physically present team members remain visible and further data, visual metaphors or even additional team members connected via the internet may be integrated in the room using virtual representations, for example for telecooperation. Should the analysis of the data require a larger field of view and the fading out of the real physical environment, this can be realized at any time using VR head-mounted displays. For newly researched methods and procedures of cross-virtuality analytics, it is essential to ensure a spatial and semantic orientation of the users during these transitions between reality, augmented reality, augmented virtuality or virtual reality via perceptual and cognitive anchor points. For example, the preservation of spatial landmarks across different media is desirable, so that physical objects such as screens are not only visible in reality and AR, but also appear in VR through correctly placed virtual representations. Furthermore, the transition has to be fluent and keep the users focused on their tasks. The impact of collaborators during the transition process has to be considered as well. This also applies to the presence of real or virtual team members in the environment. Cross-virtuality analytics is also highly attractive for gaining deep, previously unimaginable insights into rich volumetric data. Current challenges in this area focus on integrated visual analytics, quantitative data visualization, visual debugging and visual steering. Cross-virtuality analytics yet plays a minor role in this area, but contains a tremendous potential for future applications. Thank you very much.